Ian Shepardson, Chief Economist of Pantheon Macroeconomics, joins us in studio to discuss the impact of bank turmoil on the economy. Bank credit standards have been tightening for over a year, even before banks started to fail. Since the Fed began raising rates, lending standards have become more strict and credit has become more expensive. This is why rates are raised, to slow down the flow of credit. It is likely that lending standards will continue to tighten in the coming months. In a developed economy, a lack of credit can harm growth and lead to recession. Small businesses rely on bank credit, and a credit crunch can prevent those who need loans from getting them. This can harm economic activity, including inventory, hiring, and investment. Loan surveys and officer surveys from the Fed have been getting tighter, which is consistent with a bad situation for business borrowers. Bank failures have added to the problem. Bank lending to commercial and industrial companies increased after March 15, which is a sign of distress. Borrowers are grabbing available lines of credit before they become more difficult to get. This happened after Lehman failed in 2008 and in the early stages of COVID. However, the reversal was bigger than the jump. Bank lending may last for a month or so, but lending numbers are expected to drop sharply later in the spring, which is a bad sign for CapEx and hiring.